Okay, this is a video I'm making on the SkyZone M5 uh, FPV analog screen with the SteadyView receiver in it. And uh, anyhow, I did make another video having problems. I want to clarify, or I want to go over the fixes for those and uh, then do a uh, short review. The first problem is the SD card. My first issue is that when putting this in, the SD card does not work correctly. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but you have to use a plier. It, it doesn't latch in right. And anyhow, once it's in there, you can't get it to come back out without like reaching up in and scraping it out. That was the first thing I noticed wrong with this. This SD card doesn't work correctly. I don't want it to like shoot the SD card out randomly and lose an SD card. I'm gonna put some tape over it to hold it. But so, I mean, it went in the first time. I, I felt it click like a normal one. But then when I went to click it to pull it out, I heard it just click once. I don't know. Anyhow. That was brand new SD card. Never been put in anything else other than this thing. You can see it's already chewed up from it. Your guys' uh, card tray is junk. I'm just putting it back in there. Oh, look at that. <laughs> is it working now? No. See, that's what I was saying. I don't want to just randomly shoot out of there and lose the damn thing. So, if the other ones are like this, but I think I need a new monitor because this one don't work. Uh -oh. I don't know. The SD card, as you can see, I have cut this out. The You can see that the divot is slightly farther over. The SD card naturally wants to sit where they had the plastic. <laughs> so it was shoving so hard down on it, there's no way of uh, for it to slide in and out with actually reaching in like I did with a little tiny screwdriver and grinding at it until you can get it up out so this is a manufacturing flaw uh, or a design defect that's probably all of them have uh, mine does at least anyhow I had to open it up and then cut it out which I butchered it I wish I would have used the Dremel tool took my time I was a little pissed off because she sent back uh, saying that the SD card that uh, yeah, that can happen, and not to worry about it. it. It'll still work, is what she said. So, something to that effect. Uh, I'm like, so I'll go, I was mad, so I'm like, alright. Well, I removed these four screws and these two. These two are shorter, so you need to make sure those go back. Uh, of course, you want to have battery off of it first. And then you can pull the back cover off and now once you pull it off it's connected the fan is on the back cover and it goes over to a wire that plugs into and I, i'm not sure exactly where but anyhow it plugs into the the main board you just simply unplug that and you can set the back cover aside uh, then the control board is just kind of pinned in there between the covers and you can just pull it out a little bit but it's connected to the screen and there are little screws that hold the screen in so you can pull it out a little bit hold it to the side i didn't disconnect the ribbon because i'm always afraid of messing it up uh so i removed the screen and then i could set the two the screen and the board down to the side and then i was able to go to work to open that up i got a little carried away i just used a razor knife and hacked at it <laughs> Anyhow, I should have got out the Dremel tool and kind of tried keeping it squared up and make it look nicer, but I, I was in a bad mood, and uh, when I do stuff in a bad mood, I just make it work. 
and and now it works i can actually i don't need other tools to grind and chew at it and to ruin my sd card getting it out now i mean you see how chewed up it is that was a brand spanking new sd card and just the couple times i took it in and out of this uh it's all chewed up but i can put it in and out like it should and it doesn't just come out it latches in and is working as an sd card should so shame on you sky zone for even thinking about sending out bullshit like that pardon my language but it is and it, it very much so upsets me and then the fact that after a couple of times it wouldn't turn on and off that upset me i couldn't get this thing turned on for the last two days i tried several times If I push the button, the fan, I don't know if you can hear it, the fan is running right now. It runs for about three seconds. Screen don't come on. Now, I think you had to push and hold it, so. All right, fan just stopped. I'm gonna push and hold it. Nothing. The fan's running, I can feel it. I've pushed and held it for 30 seconds, I've pushed and held it for 5 seconds, I've pushed and held it for 10 seconds. It doesn't matter what I do, it no longer turns on. It worked 3 times just fine. I recorded it, I pulled the SD card out because I couldn't turn it back on to watch it on the screen. I pulled the SD card out, that's when I found out it was messed up. I, anyhow. She said on that note is because I'm using 18650 or you have to put an 18650 in at first, plug it in and uh, uh, into the charge and then it should work. Okay, I plugged it in, the USB, the little red light came on like it was charging. Now my battery was not uh, totally charged up but it was mostly charged up it still wouldn't turn on so I had unplugged it plugged it back in it turned red again so I just left it on and after a period of time I came back to it I saw the, the green light was on so I tried turning it on it was still plugged in it wouldn't turn on I unplugged it then I tried again and it finally turned on after days of it not working it finally turned on now what I found their manual says to click once and then press and hold and it turns on. To turn it off, click once, press and hold, turn it off. Throw that out the window. I'll show you the way that works every single time so you're not sitting there jacking around with it like I did. First of all, put a battery in it, do a full charge cycle. That'll set it up, program it. The way to get it to turn on is press it one, two, then press and hold. To turn it off, it says press once and then press and hold. Don't do that. You need to press and hold till you see the red thing on the screen, then press and hold, and it turn after several seconds it turns off. Every time. That's what you gotta do. To turn it on, you press it one two then hold and it'll turn on every time perfectly and to turn it off press and hold till that pops up let off press and hold again and then it'll shut off their instructions are incorrect another failure by sky zone uh, man I tell you my old uh, Cobra X goggles I had to melt the face of them so that the wasn't cutting into my cheeks so bad. Uh, why they can't make stuff properly, I don't know. But uh, I'm sure it probably fit somebody's face, but definitely didn't mine. It was two big long plastic things. Either cut cut them off all the way, but then the face gasket would be hanging down, or I heated the that bottom edge and then bent it curved it outwards away so it didn't have that sharp edge digging into my cheeks 
and uh, then a face mask would go right around it and I had to replace the velcro and everything after that to, to put the face mask back on but it made those more comfortable but I passed on for from those goggles it's like two years ago already I didn't only have them for a couple months I just I'm not a big fan of a, a mixer uh, style I use the diversity anyways and I got a good deal on some HDO2s okay so as for my review for this it's a decent screen I mean once you tear it apart like like you know every sky zone product you gotta fix them first or something to make them work for you but once you take it apart and you know, open that up so that the SD card comes in and out as it should uh, and then you fix the power issue by power cycling it and then uh, learn how to actually turn it on and off not with their bullshit instructions that don't work properly once you figure all that out it seems to be working pretty flawlessly I bought it because I needed I need I want a better DVR uh, that records better DVR where it's not all edges of stuff are miscolored I want it to look like what's in my screens on my goggles or on this screen what's on this screen looks absolutely gorgeous what is recorded on this looks like garbage it's all blocky and pixelated and it's like and I have tried different SD cards this is a U3 A1 or whatever anyhow I I use these in a GoPro and they work perfectly fine uh, I use it in my 360 camera and they, they work perfectly fine I also have the one that is uh, it not only says U3 but I think it says A2 or something the newer one and I tried that that's out of my good camera uh, it's the fastest one you can buy uh, SanDisk and uh, I tried it in here it didn't make no difference so that, this file is not that big it doesn't need that good of a card uh, I would not have bought this piece of shit if I had known that HD zero was coming out with a one that kind of works similarly but has an actual HDMI output so you can plug an HDMI capture card in and actually get good analog footage without all the distortions it, it, that will actually record the screen what is on the screen and what the screen looks like whereas this does not and that's why I bought this because uh, I, I saw a couple of reviews and they were showing footage but it wasn't the same footage there's no way uh, they were fake reviewers as usual uh, now I bought this with my own pocket I have no affiliations with anybody I just do this hobby for fun and apparently like getting pissed off about garbage like this uh, I don't know uh, it just upsets me when you have so many issues with something like this and then she's like oh it's, it's fine it, it'll still record <clears throat> no uh, that's that's BS so they should have sent me okay here's a return thing and we'll send you one that out that's proper no they didn't do that now she did give me tell me about the power cycling of the charger of this and that did work that did fix the issue uh, that it wouldn't power on at all uh, so hopefully my video helped somebody out there and hopefully you didn't get too mad at me being angry about this I uh, have very low patience in my old age so but anyhow I've also been sick for the past three weeks so uh, that didn't help any but uh, I've tried making this video a couple times and I kind of got way too ranty this one uh, is definitely ranty I know I apologize for ranting I'm apologizing if I cussed I don't know I've cussed many many times over this stupid thing so uh, 
I'm probably just going to sell this because it's really no better than my old FTX one that I've had for years. The receiver may be a little bit better, but it, uh, it's got the rapid mix stuff and stuff, but I don't use that anyways. Never worked well for me. I fly in areas with too many trees and all the little leaves cause too many multi-path things for the mixers to ever handle. I will say this has the three mode mixer and it didn't do too bad. So, I, but I still prefer, I'd rather have a flash on the screen of it flipping between uh, between the uh, receivers than the blending of it that totally freaks out. So, that's just me. Uh, I mean, I have analog, but I still like, uh, or I have HD. I I didn't like DJI at all. I couldn't fly it; made me sick. But uh, I have Walk Snail, and I can fly it. It just fly. It feels like you're flying in sand, like you're walking through deep water. It just something's like draggy about it. So yeah, this thing's all chewed up trying to get that thing out. That thing's all chewed up. Eh, I'm a, I should just send it back to him like this. Anyhow, alright, uh, the video was done a long time ago, so... <laughs>